Hey guys, welcome back to Jardev, and welcome to what is my vlog of my adventures in Australia, which I'm sure you've heard about. Uh, right now I'm uh, I'm packing uh, to go on my trip, and uh, I was gonna show you guys what I'm bringing with me. So here we have a a satchel full of 3DS essentials. Uh, you know, charger, etc., games included. Uh, there we have one Kirito munching away on a box of new headphones so that they don't break on the plane or in case they break on the plane. Uh, also, one Xbox controller to use with my laptop and charging cables. So, uh, well, really the problem is, guys, I have this irrational fear of boredom. So I need to make sure that I have everything I need so that doesn't happen. Now, I'm sure many of you share this fear with me. So, Xbox controller and PlayStation controller and uh, e-reader and uh, some converter things, adapters for walls because Australia is weird and they've got strange plugs and things. Ugh. Um, one uh, Kirito's, see, this is the important thing right here. This is a, uh, a battery to take with me on the plane uh, so that my phone and other things don't die. Right, Kirito? Huh, Kirito? <laughs> ah, it's feisty. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm trying to pack. It's cool. It's cool. We're cool. We're cool. Right? It's okay. Cool. A backpack to keep it all in. Uh, very important. Carry on luggage and all that. Next, we got the, the big suitcase to fill up with stuff. Um,. A lot of stuff to put in there. So I got some uh, some t-shirts here. Oh, and uh, this special one to remind you guys of, uh, or to remind me of, of you guys rather. So I don't forget you, you know, be gone a long time. Um, pajamas, can't forget those. Ah, shoes of the Australian friend who left them when visiting Canada last. Also jacket of the Australian friend. Um, see some shorts because Australia is hot down under isn't it ah don't forget your travel buddy right Kirito you gonna hop in nah you don't wanna come on all right uh, some jeans um, I guess we'll take this hoodie good enough right and uh, oh I guess I gotta bring a toothbrush too Probably room for that, but uh, yeah, I'm planning to keep you guys updated all the way through, so enjoy! Hey guys, I'm uh, at the Calgary airport now, um, getting ready for my first flight to Vancouver, and then uh, I'll be on my way to Brisbane. So you can see it's kind of muggy outside, it's, uh, it's not great weather. Um, hopefully that means the flight will be okay though, I mean, you know. Hopefully not too much turbulence or anything, but uh, yeah, there we go. So I'm uh, still waiting for my plane. Um, looks like it's taking a little longer to get it set up so that we can actually go. Uh, I'm a little worried because uh, what happened was originally I was on a different flight. They changed my flight, I guess, without me knowing. So when I got here, they had to put me on a new flight, this flight that I'm currently waiting for. Uh, and luckily there was space, but um, I, I am kind of worried now that we're taking a little longer because my layover in Vancouver isn't actually that long. So if the plane gets delayed, I could miss my plane in Vancouver to Brisbane, which would not be so great. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, if it does, I might have to run fast at the airport when we land, but here's hoping.
général interdit de fumer à bord. De plus, Air Canada interdit l'utilisation de cigarettes électroniques. À bord du vol d'aujourd'hui. All right, so I finally made it to uh, Vancouver Airport, and I just got to make my way over to the gate. Uh, I've, I've made it on time for my next flight, and I just need to uh, find it now. So, yeah, no worries. So I uh, found the gate. Uh, plenty of time to spare. It was actually really close, a lot closer than I was expecting it to be. Um, I flew to Spain once and uh, had to go through Heathrow Airport in London, and that was that was a nightmare. It was crazy. Like I had to take a bus to get to different places, and then I also had like five hours to sit around. And it was awful. Luckily here, I just have like an hour or so to kill, and then uh, I'll be on my way to Brisbane finally. Strange thing, planes always seem bigger when you're choosing your seats than when you're actually on. It's gonna be a rough ride. Three hours later, finally in the Brisbane airport. I'm just waiting for my baggage now. Hopefully should get here soon, and uh, then I gotta get through customs, and uh, then I'll meet up with my friends Mar and Chris, and uh, I'll finally actually step foot in Australia. It was a long ass flight, uh, didn't really move much, but it was alright overall. I did it. I found my friends were driving in a car on the wrong side of the road. Look, the steering wheel's on the wrong side of the car too. Are we going to that place now? We're gonna get something to going eat, to and then we'll go get going, some candy. Going to breakfast, and then we're gonna go <coughs> to uh, this magical place called the Confectionery. Warehouse. Warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Where there's boatloads of candy, right? Yes. Yes, I'm excited. something for everyone. There's way too much candy in this place. <laughs> Way too much candy. Um, I don't think we'll be leaving today. Good thing they're open till 9 p.m. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, a $50 bag of. Oh my god. It's amazing. We're gonna be fat. I'm lost. Well, it's been a few days now, uh, and I can say I am officially adjusted to Australia time. By which I mean I am completely not adjusted at all because, uh, well, I was pretty much living on Australia time before, so I guess I was adjusted, but I didn't really need to spend any time adjusting. Because uh, well, I was going to sleep at like 5 in the morning and waking up at like noon, 1 o'clock in, uh, in Canada. And uh, lately, past couple of days, I've been going to sleep, falling asleep at like 9, 30, 10 p.m. here. So I'm an early bird now instead of a night owl like I was in Canada and waking up at 5 in the morning. So... You know, it's kind of weird, like, five in the morning, here is like, uh, 1 p.m. in Canada, so not too bad, you know, about the same, really, and, uh, it's, I don't know, it's, it's not too bad because, uh, the sun actually sets really early here, it's like, it's strange, like, in Canada, in winter time, it's about the same, like, six o'clock, sort of dark outside, but the sun in Canada rises at like eight o'clock in the morning in winter time but here it's like like 5 30 the sun starts to come up so getting up at five actually isn't that bad it's just weird <laughs> I'm not used to being up that early but yeah so not too bad we're going on a, a road trip now we're going to a city called Gold Coast which I think is south of Brisbane uh, going for a couple days four days so, pretty cool road trip. It's like an hour, not really a road trip. 
should be good. And we're stopping at a place called uh, Lone Pine, which is a koala sanctuary. So it's going to be really cool, I think. See some koalas. I hear thunder.